Aries, welcome, welcome. This is your daily five minute read. So we're gonna work uh, this Rebel deck in again today. I'll shuffle it up, cut the deck, and grab the bottom card and we'll set it aside. We'll read it at the end of the read. We'll see what uh, saucy advice this deck has to offer. Alrighty, there we go. And then we'll pull these Oracle cards. We'll see what we're talking about today. If we're going to be talking about uh, maybe meeting a new love, maybe some money coming our way. Maybe we're healing from a breakup. Maybe our ex is a bit of a dick. Oh, and let's see what we got. So we have Temptation. That card did not want to go back into the deck. I also have Trapped in Fear as well. So there's definitely something that we're struggling struggling with right now in life. I have Triumphant Success. So I do see a possibility for success in this situation. Passion Ignited. And Deception and Envy. It's definitely uh, things that we're struggling with. But the potential for healing, uh, for success and moving forward partnerships. And Alliances. Interesting. And power, which can speak to empowerment and taking back control. Sometimes it's taking back control of our emotions. Uh, I have the chakra that represents your emotions, desires, and creativity, financial and material changes, and foundation and achievements. So I definitely feel like uh, we are going to be talking about some sort of a relationship. This might be a romance, it might be a business relationship, but it's causing us some, it's causing us some negative emotions. I think it's time to get back in control of our emotions and not let them lead us astray. And that's definitely what these cards are already saying to me. The hanging man uh, represents the only thing that could possibly hold you back from success in life is you. So not allowing uh, any doubts, fears, or insecurities uh, to sway you from your path. The four of cups represents an emotional indifference. There's a need to let these emotions go. The Three of Swords can speak of heartbreak. I think that's where this is all coming from. I think it's coming from an old heartbreak, this Ten of Swords, uh, a disappointing ending, but one that was actually beneficial for you in the long run. The Knight of Cups speaks of an emotional victory. I feel like it speaks of healing, healing from this heartbreak, letting this baggage go uh, so that it doesn't weigh you down anymore because it's nothing but a burden to you, these negative emotions. I have the Queen of Swords to me, I see being true to yourself. It's time to be true to yourself. It's time to look after yourself here. Nurture yourself as the Empress card speaks of nurturing and growth. The Justice card speaks of balance. I feel like you need to find an emotional balance again in your life because all of this stuff from the past, this heartbreak is holding you back from that. The Nine of Cups represents an abundance. And again, Cups is all about emotions. So it speaks to that happiness, that inner peace. I have the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords can represent feeling trapped or stuck in negative emotions or thoughts so much so that you have trouble finding clarity. And I feel like it's definitely talking to these old wounds and being trapped in them. It can sometimes speak to confusion as well. Sometimes we don't get closure um, when a situation comes to an end. And that's why it kind of nags at us. And I almost see the word confusion here. So that might speak to it as well. I have the Knight of Pentacles, which represents something you've been working towards for a long time, finally coming to fruition. And the Three of Cups, which represents happiness and celebration. So I feel like there is something good coming your way. I feel like it's tied into this foundation and achievements. I feel like it's tied into this financial and material changes as well. I feel like we're talking about two different aspects of your life, uh, but they are intertwined because having that, that self-confidence it's that emotional balance it's going to help you to find success in other areas of your life the nine of wands represents a journey over time and the death card is all about transition closing the door on one chapter of your life and beginning a new one i feel like that's what you're about to do i feel like this thing coming down the pipe that has to do with uh, money and material changes i feel like it's going to be a brand new chapter of your life and all this crap from your past is going to hold you back um for making the best out of it and taking advantage of it. You need to let go of the past to be able to move forward and embrace a new future. Let's see what we got. Oh geez. From, <laughs> from the Rebel deck. Fuck. Shit is about to get real. Fuck. You need your people around you. So that might be this partnerships and alliances. Maybe you need to seek out a friend or a family member. Someone who you can rely on emotionally. Or maybe... Maybe spill your guts out. Just get some reassurance. Get a hug. Learn that everything is going to be okay. That might be where you're going to find the strength that you need to let go and truly move forward and embrace this new chapter of your life. 
Alrighty guys, that is what the card said to me. I hope that you enjoyed the read. Please feel free to comment because I do love hearing from you guys. And remember, if you want to participate in the free read giveaway at the end of each week, all you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a message in one of my videos saying that you're interested and I will throw your name in the pot. Remember, we draw every Friday, guys. Alrighty, take care.